the flow sports radio Matt Shack the flow sports radio show episode 64 congratulations to the Golden State Warriors who just won their third NBA Western Conference champion championship over the Spurs to go to their third NBA Finals in a row. That's a feat within itself. Uh, like Steph Curry said last night, they got four more wins to go. Them four wins ain't gonna be the last 12 wins that they got though. That's a fact. But we'll see what happens. And it seems like Kevin Durant has found his way back to the Finals for the first time in five years. I wonder how that happened. I wonder how Kevin Durant was able to get to the Finals so fast. Could it be that he went to a 73 and 19? Okay. But that, you know, that's another talk show. But it all matters. He's there now. Looks like he made the right decision. He's in the finals. And the homie Russell Westbrook is at the crib. So I guess we'll see how it all pans out. But you got to win four. So we'll see what happens. And I guarantee you it ain't going to be the Celtics they're going to be playing. I don't care how bad LeBron James plays. LeBron James going to have two points tonight. He can have two points. Uh, the next couple of games, they ain't gonna, they're not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? What's gonna happen is it's gonna be exactly what we want it to be. It's gonna be that, it's gonna be that Warriors, and it's gonna be that Cavaliers, and that's it. So, with that being said, once again, congratulations to Golden State. Now you gotta stay back, lay in the cut, try not to get complacent, try not to get rusty, and um, you know, enjoy the fact that you got home court advantage, and try to redeem yourself from last year. Now we're going to get down to the serious topic of where I really wanted to talk about today. And that's the homie LeVar Ball and the situation with what's going on with Kyrie Irving and him uh, and what he had said uh, in regards to Kyrie's mother. So here's the way I look at it, man. I told you guys yesterday I like LeVar Ball, man. LeVar Ball reminds me of the homies, you know what I'm saying? He reminds me of a cat who I grew up with or cats that I've grown up with or I've hung out with or I've done, done dirt with. Ram broads with the did whatever did. He's a cat that I know. You know, I don't know him personally, but I know the kind of guy he is. And you know, and you gotta understand a lot of times cats like that, man, they don't have nobody to tell them, look, man, you gotta lay in the cut, man. You gotta lay back. You know, chill out, homie. You know, you gotta have a big homie or a close friend to kind of pull you back. And LeVar don't have that, man. LeVar's his own man. LeVar don't have anybody. He runs his own ship. He's the king of his own castle. He has his own kingdom, and he's gonna run it as he sees fit. My problem is, is that it's like poking the bear. I know you ain't supposed to be afraid of the man, but at the end of the day, when you pose a question about anybody else, you always remember this, and when you address somebody, and especially when you address their family and their family situation, you are opening yourself up for a response. You can't control what that response is gonna be. You can't say, oh, well, yo man, you know, LeVar needs to just back up off his son, man, and just let his son live, man, give his son some space, and then expect a man like LeVar Ball to say, you know what, Kyrie, man, you're right, dog. You know what? You're kind of correct, homie. You know, maybe I need to just go ahead and leave my son alone. Nah, man, you're going to get a cat like LeVar Ball going to be like, what? What you talking about, man? You know what I'm saying? You don't, Maybe you don't have a relationship like me and my son had. You know, maybe because your mother wasn't in the house, and, you know, you didn't have your mother, and you don't got a kid, and all that kind of stuff. You don't know what's going to insult somebody. So, as I've said before, why don't people just stop talking on folks' families, man? Don't talk about somebody else's family, man. Don't talk, don't address nothing, especially if you're a public figure. Especially when the media is asking you a question because their whole job, and I'm the media, you can Google me. Well, our job is to get responses and to get questions and to get scoops and to create this controversy. That's what a media person's job is. But as a public figure like Kyrie Irving, he should have just said, you know what, uh, that's their family dynamic, however they choose to do their families, however they choose to do their family. Now, some people are going to say, well, La LeVar Ball don't do that. LeVar Ball talked about LeBron, the LeBron's kids, he talked about Michael Jordan's kids, he talked about Magic Johnson's kids, he talks about everybody. But at the end of the day, what did, what did uh, LeBron James do? LeBron James came out and said, look, keep my family name out your mouth. He got excoriated for that. He got excoriated for telling another man to keep his kid's name out his mouth. That would have happened in any barbershop, any any street ball tournament, 
any basketball court on any part of any inner city in the country. Anybody talk about somebody's family, mama, daddy, kids, any of that, baby mamas, all of that, off limits. Whatever happens to you, happens to you, homie. But LeVar, but, but LeVar Ball, he's like, hey, what you going to do about it? He followed up with, you ain't going to do nothing. So at the end of the day, man, I, I don't I don't really have a problem with what the bar ball said i just don't like the fact he said it but then again kyrie Irving didn't have to say nothing in the first place man it's like some cats you just gotta leave alone you know what i'm saying don't even broach that question because he's gonna come back at you and who's getting the publicity the bar ball's getting the publicity he's got more publicity off of all y'all including the media social media people posting tweeting and all of that, he's probably got about 30 or 40 million dollars worth of free advertising to promote his big baller brand. So at the end of the day, he wins. If you if you say something about him, he wins. If if you post something about him, he wins. If you're doing a video like me, he wins. But at the end of the day, what's gonna happen when Lonzo plays on that court? That's when all that goes to the wayside. He could talk all he wants to until Lonzo starts playing in them NBA games. And at that point, his game is going to have to do his talking for him. That's pretty much all I really have to say about that, man. When you open yourself, you start talking about folks' as family, you open for whatever you get. Whether that be a beat down, whether that be a clap back, you know, whatever it is. It is, it's open game, man. It's all about how you're going to handle it. What you're going to do. You ain't going to do nothing or argue. But until then, game on. game on. Stir Crazy Productions, baby. When my grandmama gave me that chain. What chain? Yeah, what chain? <laughs>